Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, welcome to Yes. G oh. Starring the Game Grumps. Oh. Danny Avidanny mm. and Aaron Hands On. <laughs> hands On Hanson? Hands On Hanson. Was that a name you had in high school? Yeah. It's that third one. God damn, dude. Yeah. yeah. Three hops on number two. Three hops on number two? I believe so. And then just like... Kinda get that third hop off to the right. I'll do. That's how we do. Yeah. That's how we do. Boom. 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 And da boom Yes! Ah, you're right though! Yeah, yeah. You were so right, Dan, and I was wrong, no. and I've always been wrong, and you've always been the that's guy a, shining light in my life. That's very sweet, and oh, not true. Oh, god damn. Like, we only met five years ago. Oh, I gotta ask you something sure. after the episode's over. Tell me. Please remind me. Was it five years ago or six years ago? What? How long have we known each other? Shit, man, I don't fucking remember, dude. 2010, so going on six years. Did I pick you up in the Mini Cooper? I can't remember. Cause that's- that's the only time I have- cause it was like Palmdale. I was living in Palmdale. Yeah, you were living in Palmdale. Jesus. And I was living in Brooklyn. I was only visiting LA. Oh wait, no, I think I- was I living in Palmdale when I first met you? Cause yes. I did have the Mini Cooper when I was in Burbank. Well that was the f whoa! Hey! Uh -huh. Yeah! I gotta think about being your friend, that's what really does it for me. Oh, that's very sweet. Doop doop! God oh, damn that's it. really snug. Oof. Um, yeah, that was that was the first car I actually bought myself. So that's yeah, an amazing feeling. Every car that I owned, Your first car. Every car that I owned was like my dad gave to me, right? Because like he got a car that he like inherited from his uncle or something. Yes, like a Buick. A Buick. And, and so he like gave me a. I think I had an Intrepid. Right. It's a really cheap, shitty car. Was it? And then I had like a Buick Mercury, I forgot what it was called. I don't know, I'm not Buick a car Buick Century. Guy. Oh, a Buick Century, yeah! Yeah, it was a really shitty car. Dude, that's what, um, Chota Boy drives in Orgasmo. Really? Yeah, he's like, it's time to go to the Orgasmobile, my Buick Century! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was not a nice car. Um, I think that's the one that ended up exploding. Whoa, you had a car that exploded? Yeah, it burst into flames. Whoa. Actually, I think that was the Intrepid. I think you gotta land on the- Oh boy, that's whoa, rough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. What the fuck? How? Do you have to hit that Are second one and serious? launch through it? I just gotta go, 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 I guess. Yeah, that's rough. Um... Anyway. Well... Okay. Yeah, the, the, the first car I ever drive was like a really, really used, beat-up Mini Cooper. <laughs> oh my god. So I was like, Mini Cooper, that's my dream car! And then I got like a super used, super cheap, shitty Mini Cooper that was more expensive to keep up. That I had to get rid of it because it was so expensive to keep up. Yeah. And I got like a really, really cheap model other car after, after that. And I was broke when I did that, so it was like, oh god, what am I gonna do? Oh god. Yeah. I know that feeling. I w it's like you gotta own a car. When I when I lived in Jersey, I had the the smoke mobile, uh, which was my dad's Ford Explorer. It was not the smoke mobile when he drove it, <laughs> but it quickly became the smoke mobile once me and my blunt rolling friends got a hold of that bitch. Oh, that's why it was called the smoke. Oh mobile. man, there was not one day that that car was not hot boxed. <laughs> it's just so I can't. I honestly have no memories of that car when it was not like filled with smoke. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I, same thing. Just check engine light on for like two years, and it got to the point where like, I brought it into the, um, the Ford guys, and I was like, what do you recommend I do? And, cause I don't really have the money to fix all this. They were like, oh, it's, uh, easy, it's easy. You take a, you take a black piece of electrical tape, and you put it over the check engine light. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll try it. No, it fucking worked. You you never worry about that shit again. Wow. And I was like, what's wrong with the car? And they're like, we, we don't know. You need money to <laughs> for us to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> so they were cool, those guys. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Pretty honest. Yeah, just the other day I was driving to fucking Carlsbad, which is like two, That's two and a half really hours. That's really far, yeah. yeah. And then like right when I got in like the really... 
the, the really like hard part of LA, like where the, the roads are really shitty. Oh, and, like, yeah. I don't know the area there's at all. Some, there's some grimy LA for sure. I got a fucking flat tire and I was like, ah, oh, Jesus. That's scary. And I just didn't know the area at all and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm scared. And then like, I, I got off the exit and literally every single shop on that whole exit was like car shops. And I was you, like, really? Cool. And I just like pulled into a tire shop and they were like, eh, 35 bucks. Oh, that's awesome. And I was like, sweet. I'm sure a lot of them were chop shops, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's how, that's how they make muns, huns. But they were really nice. They like just, they, they were like, oh, yeah, yeah we have this wheel. And Scary just, neighborhoods like, oh. are very misleading, um, in a sense, because yes, they are scary. Yes, there are people there that will kill you. <laughs> and also, there are tons of fucking super nice people. Yeah. Like, I lived, I lived in some very shady places, uh, when I lived in Philly. And, um, I mean, like, even- even the guys who would, like, call me Cracker, like, they were super nice. Like, I mean, once they got to know me. <laughs> They're like, what's up, Cracker? And I was like, hi guys! <laughs> like, Hello! <laughs> hi! Cause I, I- I didn't know what to do at first and I was scared. Um... You can't ride that turtle shell, can you? No, go, go, go. There's oh. no fucking way. What do you do? Do you have to follow the turtle shell and, like... Oh, maybe I have to go back. What do you mean? Like, I have to go- I have to shoot the turtle shell. Hold on, I gotta pay attention okay. next time I go to this part. Yeah. Don't worry, that'll be five or six times from now. God damn it. <laughs> this, this, level is, this level is living up to its reputation. Yeah, no wonder it's .5 clear rate. Oof. Don't even know how to beat it yet. What's your dream car? If you could have one car. My well, I'm I've never been a car guy. That's the thing. Oh really? Like, I kind of like I I drive I drive a Nissan right now. Like n nothing too crazy, <laughs> but like it's super comfortable. It fits my giant grasshopper legs. It like it it gets me from point A to point B, and like that's all I need. Yeah. Um, I never really never really had a dream car. Um, like, well, I'm trying to think if I have, like, a dream anything. God damn it! I don't have, like, a dream house. I don't, like, I don't know. What about your dream popsicle? Oh, now you're speaking my language, Brozif. Orange pineapple. That's really? my Yeah, that's my favorite flavor Ooh, combination. that sounds nice. Yeah, it is nice. Okay, um, dream shoe. Never really a shoe guy. I mean, <laughs> clearly. Fucking clearly, dude. You <laughs> oh yeah, you got sneakers. I, well, cause like, people always rag on my sneakers, but like, th the truth is like, I got giant feet, and also like, for whatever reason, just cause of my like, weird posture and stuff, like, one of my legs kinda goes in words. It's like, um... You're bow-legged. I guess? I don't know, I don't know if that's what that means, but like, w one leg doesn't do what the other leg does. <laughs> And, uh, and it's painful. It's painful to walk, and it's painful to wear, like, like, fashionable shoes. So, uh, these shoes that I'm always wearing are, like, they're not- they don't have orthotics, but- oh, jeepers. Oh, you're so right. Yeah, you're you have to totally go all the way right. Back. Um, okay, well that at least makes sense. That's ridiculous, dude. But, like, um, that's just it, like, I- Um, those shoes I wear, like, are specially designed to, like, straighten my legs out, and they feel amazing. Oh, really? Yeah, like, that's why they're so comfortable, and I always wear them. Um... And also, like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> like... I don't know. It just doesn't matter to me to be, like, fashionable or anything like that. Whoa. Yay. What do you do now? You go down here. Oh... Yeah. Okay, Great job. You know what? If a girl ever was like, I don't like you because your shoes, I'd be like, I don't, I don't like you because of that statement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you because you. Yeah, you just that's, seem mean. That's, that's a mean, shitty thing to say. Do I have to spin jump? Hold on. Oh, I think you do. Is it possible? Try spinning, spinning the jump off the vine in a safe. Do area. I have to be tiny? I think I have to be tiny. Oh, did it just intentionally fuck you up? Holy fuck. This is funny. And there's like no way for me to get back, is there? Oh wait, yeah, there is. You gotta run. Yeah, there you go. 
Unreal. This dude. level is very Unreal. creative. Okay, and go, go, go. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's really clever. What a dick move, man. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Fuck. Oh. God damn this shit, dude. Oh, pampers. <laughs> oh, piss and shit. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with new. I bet if you say anything in the with the right cadence, it sounds like a curse. Oh, wiggly bones! Ah, fence! <laughs> <laughs> Howard Stern! <laughs> Chilies. <laughs> Chilies. Baby perk ribs! Oh my god, did you see the fucking- You know what I'm gonna talk about? About Brian's- Yeah! Uh... Brian- Brian, who runs our Twitter, Ninja Brian, managed to get Chilies and Applebee's fighting for our love. Oh my god, And I amazing. think that's fucking amazing. Sh like, lo loving shoutouts to whoever runs the Chili's and Applebee's Twitter. But they were like, at war with us to like, fucking see who would take them to prom. Well, I'm fucked. No, you're not. There's another turtle shell. Yeah, but I gotta spin jump Maybe you can do it. Yeah. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> I gotta take my time, cause there's no- Yeah, there's, there's no, no rush. Limit. Other than the, the time limit. There is next time on Gamers. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, what's a- oh, but real quick, we just got Chili's and Applebee's, uh, to fight over who was gonna take us to prom. The Game Grumps. So who? Uh, I don't know, but Applebee's- I think Denny's got in the mix, too. Did they really? Yeah. Applebee's was like, we can slow dance and sit in the corner, and- and Brian was like, just so you know, Applebee's, we're seeing Chili's on the side, and then Chili's pops in, and they're like, yeah, we want our baby back. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Oh God damn it, you're so awesome, Applebee's and Chili's. Rock and roll. I'm gonna we, eat at Chili's tonight. Were you? Are you? And Applebee's. <laughs> yeah, both of them. They didn't pay us to say this, by the way. <laughs>